goes Cicchetti. 1,600 metres to race. Gates open, runners are fired away from that 1600 meter mark and end of season was slow to begin, lost a length. Igugu got out in a flash, the early leader. Queens Bay is racing up in second, engagements back in third, then comes Devan Rat, who's a bit keen at the rail, fourth. Followed by end of season, Chiquiti, and at the back end of the field is Recon Saar. They race seven lengths off the leader. Igugu's been allowed to stride freely in front by two lengths. Queens Bay settled down in second position. Then comes engagement, one of the fence in third. Devon Wright is at the rail, settled down somewhat to race three or four lanes from the leader. They followed by end of season. Reconcile and Chiquetti are going to whip them in. They're about to turn for home in the Epitombi challenge. they got just over 800 metres left to go. Igugu still in front by two lengths in second place is Queens Bay. Then comes engagement. One of the fence just two lengths behind Igugu. Then comes end of season. Devon Wright is racing back in that fifth position. Then comes Reconcile and Chiquetti. Igugu still in front ears pricked by two lengths, Queens Bay is in second, then comes engagement Devon Wright, end of season and the black cap has still got four lengths to go then comes Chiquetti and Reconcile Igugu is still being sat on she extends away by four lengths, engagement is on the charge, then comes Queens Bay end of season further back it's Igugu, five, six lengths clear hands and heels so far, she's well in command in the Yippie Tombi challenge she goes further and further clear with 150 metres left to go Igugu is in a different race as she throws down the gauntlet for the Cape summer season. An impressive victory from Igugu, a champion in the making. Second goes to Queens Bay, then came Chiquetti, and fourth place to engagement. Well, maybe she isn't so much a champion in the making. She is an absolute champion. What am I going on about? Igugu, absolutely no sweat. She destroys this Ipi Tombi challenge field. She's won it by an absolute massive margin. And she's just in a different class. She really is. You run out of superlatives for this filly. And uh, just look how she wins this completely hands and heels. Anthony Delpesh had to do absolutely nothing in the saddle. There's no nervy moments as Igugu wins by six lengths. Completely eased up as Igugu. Second goes to Queen's Bay. Then back in that third position, you'll find Chiquetti engagement and further back in the running to end of season. But goodness me, this is absolutely breathtaking the way that Igugu has won this Ipi Tombi challenge. And I think now, I'm sure Mark Decock will confirm that it's going to be Paddock Stakes, JMB Met. And I think the guys in the Cape are probably going to be running for cover as number one Igugu. You can just see she's just in a different league to this field. She goes away and the further they go, the further she'll win by. And this was nothing more than an exercise gallop for number one Igugu and a very, very impressive performance. She couldn't be much better coming out of the Vodacom Durban July and this really took everybody's breath away. Number one, Igugu. The race is on for second. That'll go to Queen's Bay. Then came Chiquetti and then number four, Engagement. That's the first four past the post. But there's no beating class as Igugu wins the Epi Tombi Challenge.